A day after an attempted jailbreak in DR Congo, and authorities have confirmed that at least 129 people were killed overnight into Monday. Rapes were also reported amongst the violence that happened at the overcrowded Makala prison in Kinshasa. Amit Livingston joins us now with more. Prisoners in Kinshasa's notoriously hellish main jail, known informally as Makala, attempted to escape en masse in the early hours of Monday morning. But the attempt turned brutally violent, with dozens of inmates ending up killed. Images that circulated on social media showed dead bodies heaped in the courtyard of the prison. At first, Congo's government didn't communicate the death toll and promised to investigate. Very early on Tuesday morning, however, the interior minister gave a preliminary assessment confirming the very worst fears about the scale of the violence. The provisional death toll stands at 129 dead, 24 of whom were shot after being warned. The others were killed by stampede or suffocation, and some women were raped. The committee has also identified 59 wounded people for whom the government is currently providing appropriate care. In terms of property, we condemn the fire in the administrative buildings, the registry, the infirmary and the food stores. The Interior Ministry also said that the prisoners had used an angle grinder they stole during a power cut to try to pierce the prison's walls, and it admitted that overcrowding contributed to the massive loss of life. The incident will be deeply embarrassing to Congo's government, and especially its Justice Minister, Constant Moutomba, who promised to tackle Makala's dire conditions just weeks after taking office. Prisons in Congo are dire at the best of times, but Makala has a grim reputation as being nearly unbearable. Originally built to hold hundreds of prisoners, the jail currently holds about 15,000, according to official figures. Rights activists have documented incidents of inmates starving to death and even suffocating inside the densely packed cells.